Hey guys, and welcome back to Devil's Third. When we last left off, we were trying to make our way to a big helicopter so we can extract. But first, we have... I was going to say iced caverns, but actually, I guess not. Alright, well, let's do what we do best. Oh, there had to be Russian dolls in here somewhere, I suppose. Because, you know, Ivan's... <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Press F, I guess. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, that guy's fucked. Yes. Let's go. Look at all this concrete here. I bet it's cold as fuck. But then I suppose once you get so far down into ground, the uh, temperature does stabilise. But it's, it, it's all this pitching that the game does, all these um, stutters, it's so distracting. Oh, hey guys. I think he was distracted because of the cold as well. I mean, he surely wasn't uh, acting like a rational thinking human being. Let's get our rifle out. Okay. A rifle that acts actually acts like a rifle. Oh, hello. Am I right? <laughs> yes. Yes, the MA5B from Halo. Oof. Yep, that weapon definitely has not aged well. Assault rifle that you have to stick down your enemy's throat. Son of a bitch. Double M, Soviet ICBM mobile launcher. Not bad. We can't just leave this here. Some charges. Okay. Well, I guess that's the job for me. Hurry up, hang on. I didn't know it was my job to plant these charges. Didn't know it was me running around with all these explosives. Hurry up! I've planted like three in the time that you guys have barely even. Look at this. This is how you plant charges, guys. Jesus, I don't know what the fuck you morons are doing. All there, are done. Let's move. Yeah, thanks for your help. Take cover. Oof. Right, here we are. More big open terrain. Ooh, looks like we've got some big arseholes this time. <laughs> I literally lost a chunk of meat. Now, I was wondering when we was going to run into another one of these. That was why I decided to bring something belt fed. Oh my god. What's going to buckle first, his armor or the Wii U's processor? There we go. Let's go for it. Let's go. Power on, guys. Oh god, there's three of them. Alright. Oh. Literally out of ammo too, which isn't great. I suppose you need to be careful of the use of literally. That's another word that's been bastardized in re really. There's more than utterly bastardized in recent years. Oh god! Let's see what headshots do. Yeah, these guys remind me of those. Um, ah, what were the suits called from Crisis? I actually quite enjoyed the Crisis games. Well, I enjoyed the first one. Uh, the other two were a bit weird from a, a story-wise, but they were good solid shooters. First one was a lot of fun. Sounds like it's still some kind of heavy MG going. Ooh. Oh, hey, friend. I guess he was just taking a piss in the uh, in the bushes over there. Okay. Come on, friend. Let's see that head of yours. I didn't quite mean your head, but sure. Okay, Two bullets to the head it takes. Which, yeah, okay. I mean, at least it, it does do more damage, I guess. Alright, let's power on through, boys. We got another chopper incoming. Yeah, I guess there. so. We just seem to have, like, unlimited back. amounts of military hardware. You know, like all the best bad guys. And now we're worrying about an RPG. 
definitely would be more concerned about the helicopter over there. Definitely could use an RPG to deal with this guy. If we're going to get one, that is. Right, you, buddy. You want an RPG for me? <laughs> no. But I am going to make your head pop off. I do really enjoy the way their heads come off. It's really good. Whether that was an intentional part of the game or not, I don't know, but I really like it. I also have this new addiction. It's this French coffee, and it's bloody lovely. It does have a fancy name, uh, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Mrs. keeps telling me what it is because, yeah, she's French. I just thought it was a load of random words on a on a on a box. Right, he's gone. Okay. Oh, hello! I saw you peeping, and you look like you have a rocket launcher. I'm guessing we're going to need that. Hopefully, he's got a stinger missile. Right, give me that. Oh, hey, friend. Yeah, you're done. Oh, God. He's just coming out of the woodwork now. Someone else that was taking a piss. Oh, I thought he had a rocket. Woo! You've got a rocket launcher. I better have that off you. Move when it stops firing. Move when it stops firing. Jesus. I guess that's why you're the leader. And you come up with the big tactics. Thing is, how do we know when it stops firing? Escape into the drainage pipe. Wait, so we're not going to fight the helicopter? Or, you know, what, what, what's, what's going on here? Is the helicopter even attacking us? Uh, I guess it's trying, but it can't get through the fence. Huh. Okay. Wow, look at this. This this looks like Quake. Quake 2 on the bloody PlayStation. Jesus. I can't believe these guys still have so many men. I thought they were broken up and scattered. Well, it yeah, looks well. like they're all here. This place must be really important. Mm -hmm. well, they're holding the bad guy convention. They're holding a bad guy convention. Ah, okay. Alright, well. Let's go see if we can find King Turd of Shit Mountain. Oof, this looks pretty cool. Hmm, I wonder if Ivan here knows more about this place than he's letting on. It seems to. The old former Soviets. Wow, look at that. Uh, they had some pretty cool ideas in this game. That other mission as well, early on in the game, where we went through that destroyed harbour. I mean, These ships. there was potential there. It's been beach for a while. Yeah, look at these things. Oof. Whoa, this kind of reminds me of that uh, part in Last of Us 2. Uh, can we can we put a round in there, please? Thank you. Oof. Oh. It's that invisible woman. Yep. Straight out of Metal Gear. It can't be. Why do we still not have a fucking RPG on that thing? Yeah, why don't we just shoot the uh, barrels that are next to? That works. So yeah, in Last of Us 2, there's a bit where we... Uh... Oh, these are like female soldiers. Go through a destroyed harbour, and it's... Absolutely incredible. I appreciate it's unfair to um, compare uh, this to that, but my point is, it does make for a pretty interesting scene. And I can see what they were trying to do with this. this 
Yeah, a little bit. Now, I don't know what um, the Valhalla Studio is actually working on at the moment. If you look on the um, page, it doesn't really say an awful lot of anything. But you would have thought after this game's commercial failure back in 2005. Oh, no, 2015. <laughs> it kind of looks like 2005, right? All clear. Ooh. Give that a go. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you would have thought they're working on something good. They must have something, but uh, obviously they they wanted to make this into a trilogy. <laughs> oh, hello, ninja bitch. Can we... I guess we can't pin them up against walls or something. Surprised they don't have those massive, like, fake anime titties. Because uh, that's kind of his MO. He loves that shit. Oh, grade box now before. There's another RPG there, so I'm guessing we're probably going to need it. I want to try this gun out. They're probably hidden. There they are. There they are. Luckily, even the female variety don't have any more intelligence. Watch out! Get out of here. Now that flamethrower could be an issue. Or, you know, maybe not. I guess. It's always the chance that it might not be an issue. Appear to be getting stuck on things as well. It's one way to deal with a shield. Literally make him disappear. Okay. Oh, what was that? Was that the fl oh, that was the yeah, flame for a thing. I don't really care about that. Oh! Oh, we got a big guy. King Dick of Ship Mountain. Come on, buddy. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Seems... Is he? Okay. For a minute, I didn't think he was actually moving towards us. I thought he was running on the spot. Which would have been freaking hilarious. And I'm not... I'm still convinced he might actually have been running on the spot for a while. Seems a bit of a waste of um, a soldier to get him to charge at you with an axe. Maybe they didn't have any money for weapons. I don't know. They got money for active camouflage. It's still one of my favourite scenes in gaming, um, in the Metal Gear for the PlayStation. When you're in the elevator, oh god, <laughs> in the elevator with Otacon, and um, the elevator's overweight. And you work out that's because there's another four people in that room with you. Wearing active camouflage suits, that was, oh man. Do you remember when you used to be really amped? And excited by games, and you really got into them. Oh, man. They were such cool times. I don't know what it is, like the magic of gaming. Um, that has disappeared. I mean, I know I can still play an old game. Oh, God. And enjoy the shit out of it. But these newer games, you know, like Cyberpunk and... Oh god, um, Last of Us 2, games like that, there's something missing. I don't know man, maybe I'm getting old. Maybe games are just too commercialised and, you know, they, they just try and promise you too much these days. Or maybe it's because when we were kids, we just didn't have, like, the problems and the bullshit to worry about that we do now. Huh, maybe. Because <laughs> uh, <coughs> that literally, like, land... Oh, God, here we go. That literally landed in that guy's face. 
That was brilliant. Oof. Oh my god. I'm just getting absolutely rendered by everything. Yeah. Our assisted suits called exosuits, yes. Why did you watch a documentary on those the other day? Pretty interesting. Um, you know what? Yeah. I mean, I still maintain the fact that this running nice and smooth probably wouldn't be a horrible time. It'll be cheesy, shitty fun. Oh god. Oh god. There's nothing more annoying than when you're trying to get into cover and the Wii U just hitches right up and you get killed. There is... Is there someone shooting us from above? Like, the enemies are so far away. I, and the resolution is so low. I can't see them. But they're hitting us perfectly. But that's fine. That's okay. That's fair, probably, somewhere. Think we got the shield, guys? Think? Oh, God, here he is. Come on, reload that thing. Come on. I'm guessing he's not going to engage my team. Nope, he's not. He's just going to run straight for me. Oh, I, I mean, I don't know. He's. I don't think he's really overly sure what he wants to do. Apart from bleed out loads of Play-Doh blood. That's fine. He can bleed out Play-Doh blood. Whilst we kill all of these invisible women. These invisible women, actually. Reminding me of those frogs from Metal Gear 4. <coughs> they were weird. Oh, God. But the thing is, when, when something's weird in, in Metal Gear, generally, nine times out of ten, it's weird and fucked up for a cool reason. Uh, ow. Couldn't really go anywhere then. Uh, I was going to say, if there's grenades coming at me, I don't know where they are. This would have been a good bit for a sniper rifle, actually. I think my cover just... Yep, my cover just dis disintegrated. Where did you come from? Just cut her in half with machine gun fire. Didn't work very well. Uh, okay. Let's get through this gauntlet. One wall at a time if we have to. Yeah, because the resolution's so low, the, the whole scene just looks like a mess. Glad I'm playing this on like a 1080p monitor. Like if I was playing this on my 4K TV, I ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually want to think about that. And you know, a lot oh, look at that texture. Oh no. A higher quality one did pop in. Um, a lot of the first party Wii U stuff does genuinely look pretty good because it's that simplistic cartoony style that works really well. It wasn't a very good machine, you know, for this. Oh, oh, hello. Um, dude, you alright? You alright? You alright, buddy? Can you, can you seriously not get me up here? Is that actually a thing? You can't get me up here, can you? Oh, God. You're just going to stand there whilst I shoot you. And the lead developer of this game said that there was nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it at all. Game's fine, Chief. Working as advertised. Although, I am running out of bullets. Well, that's lucky. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, no. There's loads more of them. Oh, God. Yeah, Ivan, cover me. Uh, dude. As much as I would like to cover you, I'm in a bit of a rough spot myself, chap. Can we... 
Run. There we go. Oh my god. Uh, oh god, we don't have much. Actually, we can just cheese you though, can't we? Because I can just stand up here. And there's not much you can do, is there? Okay, maybe you can hit me there. But if, if we was up on a ledge that was a little bit further out, we could have just sat up there and enjoyed the chaos. Dare I say, fighting these big guys is... <gasps> Wait, do I have to do all that again? Ah, oh, come on, man. This is a heck of a gauntlet. They are hardcore, they are hardcore. yes, they are, they are hardcore. Why did I die? I can't even see the bullets coming at me. I can see the flamethrower. Was the flamethrower hitting me from that far away? I mean, maybe, I guess. Jane Doe. Ugh, what a fucking name. Um, right, I'm going to leave that rocket launcher there for later, because I think this is a nice little area to fall back to. Yeah, I know she's there now. Alright. Oof. That was savage. Now, is... I guess we can kind of go for these guys' feet. As they do a weird shuffle along the floor. I've only just noticed that. The way they walk. Which is quite entertaining. Alright. That wasn't too bad. I don't really want to hide behind a box. Whoa. Oh god, I forgot about you, dude. I forgot about you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. Okay. So we're going to have to move up incredibly slowly and just be methodical with this. The melee combat here uh, I think would be utterly worthless. Right. Let's get you gone. Yeah, they're very hardcore. We've worked this out by now. Especially the ones that just charge us. They're the most hardcore. How do we get up there? How do I get up there? Because there's some goodies up there. How do I shoot your feet? Okay. I think some of the bullets just go through the shield. I'm not really sure how that's working. Right, you can fuck off. Having said that, those frog things were pretty tough from what I can remember. Especially on the harder difficulties. Can you stop going for that cigarette animation? It's really off-putting. I don't know why, it just is. When you're trying to get into some, uh, like, ass kick. Ooh, yeah, there he is. There's the big motherfucker. Did I hit it? Oh, come on, I'm trying to hit that fucking explosive thing. I'm trying to hit that gas cylinder when the game's running at two frames a second is not easy. <sighs> right. It's kind of interesting. I was playing the original Halo last night. Um, I was playing it oof, at 120 frames a second. And it was just, oh, it was so smooth and, and crisp. And coming to this, which runs at 10 frames a second, if you're lucky, sometimes it's more like 3 or 4 frames a second. It's, man... Man. Oh. oh god, hello. Yeah, I really I can't remember what which review it was, but there's one. I mean they're not exactly hard to find. But there was one review that said something about you've tried all the all the good games. Now this is what the bottom of the barrel looks like. <laughs> and you're like, you know what? Yeah, you Kind of hard to argue, actually. Very hard to argue. 
I can't really think of the top of my head many worse experiences. But it didn't have to be. It didn't have to be. And that's the worst thing. It didn't have to be like this. I suppose that's what happens when you change development of your engine three times in the development cycle. And then you use an engine that the uh, Wii U can't handle. Which is what happened to Sonic Boom as well. Because uh, Sonic... Yeah, I watched an interesting video on that as well. The Sonic Boom team. They only had a year, was it two years, to develop that game. And they had to completely redesign uh, the CryEngine. I think it was the CryEngine. She died by her own grenade. Cool. Yeah, they, they had to get the CryEngine to work on the Wii U. And it was never designed to work on the Wii U. So before they could even... Here we go. Before they could even start developing the game, they had to try and squeeze this engine onto it, onto the system. Apparently Nintendo didn't give them any help because why would they? It's, you know, it's Nintendo. Um, they got a little bit of help from CryEngine, but not a lot. And every time they inter inter in the there, implemented some cool ideas, they were told to take them out because they were too taxing. Yeah, it's just really interesting. There's a channel on YouTube that does loads of interesting videos on, on shit games. It's called What Happened. And it's all about what happened in the development process. How did this game become so bad? Very much looking forward to the uh, cyberpunk <laughs> one. Oh god, here we go. Why? Ivan, cover us! I know we're 30 men and, and you're one. Oh my god. Uh, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Things are about to get ugly. Oh, ow. Yes, of course. I've... Oh, God. It's fine. That's cool. And again, you have to do this. Why do I have to cover them? Why does one man have to cover four? Shouldn't it be them covering me? These guys don't even do anything. Like... Easy. You might fuck off, Bob. Has anyone ever told you, Bob, that you're a cunt? And nobody likes you because you're a dick? And your mum still dresses you? Uh, like seriously, what what are these men doing? Literally doing nothing. And getting elevation's a bad idea. You know, wouldn't it be good if you could crouch? Uh, but I bet there's fuck all up here to crouch behind. No, because they can still get you anyway. Oh, there's someone up there. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Uh, grenades in this game are utterly useless. Wait, can I just like throw them? No. Okay, I thought he was going to do some cool like extra long grenade hunt, but no. Here you are. All right, let's just fill you full of fucking bullets. You're not the problem. It's when they throw three of the fucking minigun guys and two of the melee guys at you. I mean, is that enough? The melee guys, admittedly, are pretty simple to get around. But the minigun guys as well? They're just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. 
Especially when your team is just standing around jacking off. I didn't even know that was a board I could shoot through. I didn't even know what that was, to be honest. It just looks like a texture. It is awfully handy when your team or the computer blows itself up, which does seem to happen. Uh, fairly often, actually. Is there like a spawning area of these things? Is there actually a way up there? I mean, there has to be, right? I guess I can go up here? Oh my god, of course. Of course. We go up here and there's RPG guys and shooty bang bang guys. Come on. There we go. Uh, right. So, I'm guessing that the enemies that we need to kill aren't going to spawn until we come down here. Yep, pretty much. How about now? You going to spawn now? Yep, here he is. Okay, that kind of works. Nice to get one of them coming at us. Come on. My god. Yeah, just run past everybody else that's shooting you. That's fine. Okay, he's gone. Oh shit. And there's another bloody chargey guy. We've got to get rid of him first. Wouldn't say no to get behind them, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh god, we're out, we're out. We've got grenades, I guess. Nope, doesn't matter. I think he's gone. No, he's not. Come on. Come on, die. My fucking god. This is like a boss. Like, how many bullets does it take? Seriously, how many bullets does it take? I've got that other guy behind us. Come on. Really? He's taken, like, everything we've got. Literally, he's taken every bullet I have. Jesus Christ. Uh, low ammo. Yeah, no fucking shit. Well. Got through that somehow. Oh, what the fuck he's doing? Yeah, dude. Can we be cool? I just need a new gun. That's all I need is a new gun. No, use the grenade launcher. Why is it so hard to select the grenade launcher? It shouldn't be this hard to select the grenade launcher. Hard to aim the grenade launcher. Oh, God. Whew. Yeah, you can get fucked, Bob. Uh, Alright, give me that. Alright, what have we got? Let's go gather up some ammo desperately. Bob, why didn't you use your Gatling gun? I'm just saying, maybe that would have, you know, done something. Maybe it would have turned the whole fucking... The whole outcome of the battle. Would have made it a little bit quicker. You think about that, Tom? Too busy sucking your fucking thumb thinking about mumsy dick right how do, why why won't you get up there 
There's got to be something up there. Uh, uh, you know what? You know, they don't even care. Don't even care. Let's just carry on. Right, so... Oh, God, we're on 35 minutes, guys. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Right. Well, that was a fucking clusterfuck, wasn't it? But we got there. Slowly but surely, we got there. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.